Alright there you guys, welcome to another one of my live videos and today I'm just going to be updating you on some more latest news, transfers and gossip. Of course, now the season has drawn to a halt with a lacklustre campaign that we, had, that we had suffered last season in the league. And now we reached that climax and we in the Europa League and we achieved that and succeeded that. And now we are in pole position and Jose Mino has now got these strong ambitions to get these players that he wants in the summer. These top players. I said we need a strong centre back, we need an attacking midfielder, we need a centre defensive midfielder and we need someone who's going to create that fluidity and movement up front and someone who's going to be clinical in the final third, bring that firepower and someone who's going to lead that line very, very well. But anyway, Jose Mino's looked into a lot of players. But one guy in particular, as I mentioned on the previous video, is 28-year-old Ivan Perisic from um, Inter Milan. These rumours have been stemming from since March and Jose Mino has been in Croatia discussing with the agent about this deal about Perisic but now I think the deal could be between 40 million to 48 million that we could be getting him for. But we don't have many Galactico players in our team. We don't have any Galactico players or any real star quality in our team and people are saying oh it's not Bale, it's not Ronaldo, it's not Griezmann. Yeah, he's not a glamour player, as I insist he's not. But if you look at his overall stats, they are dramatically impressive. He's a very, very skillful player. He's got f fantastic ability. He's a good playmaker. He's got fantastic talent and experience. And that's what we need at Manchester United all this. We haven't got much experience. We need a playmaker. You know... Also has played fantastic for the Euros in 2016 for Croatia. Also played fantastic for Borussia Dortmund when he used to play for them. And over, overall, I think for Inter Milan, he has made about 70 appearances and scored 17, 18 goals. But as I said, he'd be fantastic on that left. That's his advanced position. Good two-footed player. He's, he's very good in the air as well. He's, high, he's got that high advantage, very strong in the air. You know, he's very ecstatic, you know. That defensive line, you know, he struggles a bit there. Playing defensive is a bit of a suspect there. He lacks a bit there. But as I said, overall, his stats would suit Man the Manchester United agenda. And he would be the chosen option over Antonio Martial, I think, if he was to come to Manchester United, in case Martial got injured. And, you know, sometimes he does struggle on that left-hand side, you know. But he'd be good with um, Perisic. He'd be good. He'd be emerging them runs on the left hand side, creating that fluidity and movement and everything. And you know and got got good attributes and also McTaring on the right as well, right hand flank or right hand side. He's very generous. And that attacking force would come back, so to me he would be the real deal for Manchester United. He would be the real deal. But he's not a Galactico player, but he would do because he he does look now look he, like the most likely that he's going to come in to Manchester United in the summer. But also, as I said, with players leaving, players' contracts expiring, we need these players in the team. And I think he, uh, Perisic is a good athlete and he will bring loyalty to Manchester United. But anyway, guys, that's the latest news I'm going to date you with. So take it easy and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.